morning guys it's monday today is star test day for both evan and me it'll be his very first time taking a star test period and i'm praying that he just does his best and does what his teacher has taught him and uses his time wisely we have to be at work early today to get testing materials and get ready for this i'm just feeling a little stressed because i'm worried about my own child plus my students plus me today and i woke up with some horrible pain in my foot and it's an active monitoring day so i have to con i have to just walk around the classroom all day long and make sure kids are bubbling in the right section things like that and my foot is killing me the last time i counted my steps on a math test it was like 14,000 14,000 steps with a hurt foot today sounds terrible <laughs> so i hope that that feels better it's after school on monday we took the star test today so it was a long day but it was a smooth day unfortunately after school brady went to the bathroom and when we was coming back from the bathroom he all of a sudden felt nauseous he was kind of feeling kind of nauseous this morning but he just threw up all over the hallway we're on our way home and he's not feeling very good poor brady i'm sorry babe Good morning guys, it's Tuesday and the second day of star testing. Poor Brady is not coming to school today because of... Don't forget to close your door. Thanks. Poor Brady is not coming to school today because of his uh, vomiting yesterday. He was really oh, sick last night. But he's home with Brianna and Jenna. And we gave him some medicine before we left too because poor baby has a headache. It's after school on Tuesday and we're on our way home. Today was the last day of testing for fourth graders and for third graders. So on to bigger and better things tomorrow. Today nobody came to our house to work. I'm not sure why. Tomorrow our bathroom sink is going to be delivered. So I'm hoping that they're going to be installing the countertops tomorrow everywhere and that they're waiting on that sink to be delivered so they could do it all at once that's the only logic i can see behind that why they wouldn't have come on monday when they had the material and stuff if they wait till thursday it's gonna be very disappointing brady stayed home with my mom today i don't think he threw up anymore he didn't eat much though and he slept some of the day so i can tell he's still sick i'm praying that nobody else gets this virus because we don't really have time for that what? Now you just told YouTube that. <laughs> I'll edit it out. I'll edit it out. Don't worry. Um. Oh, Lance is calling me. Hey. Hey. Um, is today the day I was supposed to go get that car seat? I think it's Wednesday. Today's Tuesday, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't think they're getting it in until Wednesday. They haven't called me or anything. Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday, and we're off to school. Today, Brady's coming with us. He's feeling, mm, okay. He's feeling a little bit better, but he's still a little bit worried that he's gonna throw up, so we'll see how today goes. It's Wednesday after school, and we're on our way home. We went to Marshall's after school, and I wanted to find another set of these bowls that I bought for the kids, because we only have four of them, and I have four kids, so four bowls is kind of pushing it. So I wanted to buy one more set that matched, but of course they didn't have it. And I knew when we first saw them that I should have bought another one, and I didn't, and I'm regretting it just like I thought. I wish I would have got that before. So I didn't get that at Home Goods. I found a little greenery piece that's very pretty that I like. Can't wait to put it in our house. And then we also got a new pair of Converse for Evan and Ezra. They both needed new shoes. Evans were like flapping the other day. He does have two other pairs of shoes, but he really preferred his Converse and they just spit the dust. He's been wearing them until he couldn't wear them anymore. So we got that. And then it was really close to Toys R Us, so we went inside Toys R Us to see if anything else had gone down. Prices were still the same, but they had new stuff. Like they continue to restock from the warehouse. So I did find this, it's almost like a play kitchen, but it's like a complete nursery set. It has a little kitchen area and it also has a built-in high chair for the baby doll. And then a built-in crib and a mobile, it's so cute. It was on sale for $36.99. So we got that for Jenna to put away for Christmas. She's gonna die, she's gonna love it so much. They also had a little Baby Alive doll that eats and you change its diaper and that was on sale for $11. And so we got that to put away as well. And then they had a Baby Alive that cries real tears and like 
her nose runs and she gets sick, you check her temperature, she has a stethoscope, you can hear her heartbeat and she talks to you. And it has really good reviews on Amazon and the last time I was there, there were some little girls that were going crazy over it and they were like two years old and one of them was like just a little bit older than Jenna and they both wanted that doll so badly. So I'm gonna get that for her to put away for her as well. So she's stocked up on dolls, thank you Toys R Us due to this, you know, going out of business sale. And I did stop and get McDonald's. In fact, let me have a french fry. I stopped and got McDonald's on the way home because, you know, no kitchen. But guys, guess what? I'm pretty sure I may have just bought our last post-Hurricane Harvey fast food dinner because I think my sinks and my countertops are gonna be installed tomorrow. I can't even express my excitement. It seems unbelievable. If I walk in my house tomorrow and there's a kitchen, I don't even know, like, am I prepared for that? I don't even know if we have everything a kitchen needs. What else do we need? I can't wait. It's gonna be the best thing. We need dishwashing detergent, that's what we need. I hope they hook that up too. We did buy the handles that I showed you guys in the last vlog. Hopefully they get those handles up soon too so we can kind of see. And I do not want to pick our backsplash yet. Originally I bought backsplash, in fact it's already purchased, but that was before we decided to not go with our black granite that we had before and to actually just purchase new quartz countertops. And so I don't think that bluish gray backsplash that we loved before, but I just don't think it's gonna look best with the quartz so we're probably going to need to get some of that and at some point this needs to be done because you can spend so much money on home remodeling and we need to be done Do you like your new water gun? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I wish Brett Evan got to pick out his so he could have drained the rainbow. Wait, Mom, who's inside Rachel, right now? Rachel. Just Mom, happened. Dad, we found dad, 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 this dad, dad. trick. Uh, uh, we're on our surfboards. Oh, wow. You can use them as surfboards, but they don't work. Yeah, I know. You be careful, baby. Oh. It's Thursday, and we're off to school. Today is going to be a busy, busy day at our house because the majority of everything is supposed to be finished today. We should have countertops and a sink and all that jazz when we get back home. And if that happens, it's going to be crazy. In about 10 days, it'll be 9 months since we've had a usable kitchen due to Hurricane Harvey. My kids are doing a data representation project today in math where, I don't know if you guys have seen the video, I'm sure you have, where there's a computerized voice and it's saying either Laurel or Yanny, depending on which pitch you listen to, the higher one or the lower register. I pulled them all yesterday, we have that data, and then today I'm going to split my kids up into groups and we're gonna pull the whole school and then they're going to represent the data with different graphs. And then we're also doing those two pictures, the one of the dress and the one of the shoe that changes colors too. And the thing is the kids had no idea, like they thought there was just one, um, thank you. Thought there was just one answer. They thought that there was a right or wrong answer when they were answering. But then when they heard other kids saying different stuff, they were going crazy and I was like, don't talk about you guys to see the data first and then you can talk about it but it's a pretty even split and at first I was thinking that maybe the the volume that you hear the Yanny and Laurel clip affects what you hear like it seems the louder it is the more people hear Laurel but then I kept it at the exact same pitch when I was asking all my kids and they would say different things even though nothing had changed they all had on headphones I'm at Chick-fil-a getting my salad for lunch it's noon on Thursday and Evan threw up after running at PE and he thought that he was just a little bit overheated and that's why he said he felt better. He went back to class and then he started vomiting over and over again in his classroom. Poor baby. He's sick. He has that stomach virus now. Jenna's the only one that hasn't gotten it yet out of the kids and I'm just going to keep praying that she 
doesn't get it because she can't go to the toilet or anything like they can. It's hard enough sanitizing after them, so. Good old viruses. I know there's a lot going on at my house right now too, so it's gonna be hard. They're putting in countertops today, doing a lot of stuff, so. It's an exciting day in the Frenzel house, but not necessarily all good. He's sick, baby. Leave him alone. Poor man. He's thrown up in the van. Good morning, guys. It's Friday, and we're off to school. We've got two men down today. Brady threw up in the middle of the night. My camera just died, so sorry about that. Can't believe he got sick again. He was swimming yesterday. I just can't believe it. And then Evan is still sick. So all we have is Ezra back there. Just very easy to just get one baby dress this morning instead of dealing with three of them at once, which isn't hard, but after Ezra was done, it's like, what do we do now? Last night we did, I had a big dilemma with my sink, which way it should face. I'll put it in the video for you. Our farmhouse sink is reversible and I bought this particular one because it had this rectangle on the front of it that I really liked and it was the only one like it. However, once we got it in, I could not decide. And this whole time I thought for sure I was gonna put it on the rectangle side. But once we got it in, two men in my kitchen liked the rectangle side and two men in my kitchen liked the plain side. And I could not decide between the two. So I posted on Facebook and got a lot of my friends' opinions and the plain side was growing on me so um, I told them to switch to the plain side. But they'd already cut something and it was kind of stuck in there so they said they couldn't fix it. And then like two hours later, as the rectangle side was growing on me more, then they did get it fixed. So now it's on the flat side. I can't wait to show you guys our kitchen remodel reveal. It is beautiful, but it's not done yet. It's after school on Friday and we're on our way home, Ezra and I are, and my kids made slime at school today. It was a busy, hectic, crazy, messy day. They had so much fun and it was a lot of fun, but I'm ready for some easier days for sure. Now we're on our way home. He says being all by himself is not that fun, so I think he's gonna appreciate his brothers once we get back home. It's 101 degrees in my van right now. It is so hot, so I'm gonna crank up the air and um, we'll see what kind of progress we see at our house once we get there. Hey, baby. Do you have a good day with Grandma? Say hi, Mama. Hi. This poor baby woke us up at 4 a.m. this morning by vomiting in her bed for the very first time. She must have gotten the stomach virus that the boys had. So sad. We're getting our bar stools out to put them together in the kitchen. You feeling okay, honey? She loves Sesame Street. You feel okay? That was so sad. We had to give her a bath and thankfully we had extra bedding to put on her bed because it was a mess. Huh, baby? Poor girl. It was the first time she's ever thrown up, other than spitting up when she was a baby. <laughs> you try to see the camera? There you go. That's you. Oh, no, don't hold it. Oh, Jenna, sorry. The perks of a farmhouse sink already. I love it. Jenna just got sick and threw up and she happened to be in the kitchen. So I grabbed her and put her in the sink quickly and just rinsed her off. So nice to have this big deep sink in here for times like this. And of course, you know, dishes. Just don't have the trim and stuff on it like we're supposed to yet, but it'll get done. I'm just so thankful. And of course, we don't have the backsplash either. But I'm just so thankful that we had this. It's so nice, huh, baby? Mm. Got your juice? Yum.
<laughs> Need some help? Mmm, mm, eggs. She seems to be feeling better this morning. Finally getting around to sealing all of the blocks that everybody made Jenna at her baby shower. The new community of inner milestones is being able to stack two blocks on top of each other and three blocks on top of each other by herself. So I'm going to finish sealing these. I'm using Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. Just putting a little bit on and then brushing it so it's not dimensional, but it will give it a waterproof finish just in case she puts them in her mouth or something. All done. Now I just gotta let them dry. I think it takes about two hours for them to dry. I'm done coating them and I'll put them back in her little box. To do all these blocks, I only use half this bottle of Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I do have the regular Mod Podge too, but this holds up better to high wear items. So I'm doing that and just brushing it so that it's not so three dimensional. <laughs> Got it. Are you cleaning up, baby? Good job. Wow, you cleaned up. You did it. Come on. 